Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. One of the key questions with NAD precursors such as NMN is how effective they are at raising NAD in various tissues. Today, we'll have a look at a study which investigated this question and whether it's possible to improve the absorption with other supplements such as resveratrol at the same time. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a recent study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Improvement in tissue-specific distribution and biotransformation potential of NMN in combination with ginsenosides or resveratrol. NAD goes down with age, which plays a critical role in many of the diseases of aging. NMN has been shown to increase NAD levels, but the research does not go to the levels of specific tissues. There are a variety of NAD boosters available, but there has not been efforts to find synergies with other molecules. In this mouse study, they looked at the effectiveness in raising NMN and NAD in various tissues of the administration of NMN at 500 mg per kilogram when combined with resveratrol at 50 mg per kilogram or ginsenoside RH2 and RG3 at 50 mg per kilogram. The doses were administered orally in phosphate buffer solution. 500 milligrams per kilogram is quite high, as in other studies, it seems to be between 100 and 300 milligrams per kilogram. What they found was that NMN combined with resveratrol could increase the levels of NAD in the heart and muscle by about 1.6 or 1.7 times NMN alone while NMN combined with ginsenoside could improve the NAD levels in the lung tissue by twice NMN alone. And their conclusion is that the results point to new treatment ideas for cardiopulmonary diseases of aging. What are ginsenosides? These are chemicals which are mostly found only in ginseng and have been proposed to provide some of its health benefits. In this case, they use two of the compounds, RH2 and RG3. Here are the results for the level of NMN found in various tissues, one, two, four, and six hours after the administration. One thing that does seem clear is that NMN is getting into the tissues and so presumably not all being broken down into nicotinamide in the liver. NMN on its own has the biggest impact on the liver. In the heart, resveratrol increases NMN presence by 1.39 times. Whereas ginsenoside increases NMN in the brain, heart, kidney, and lung by 4.14, 2.31, 4.47, and 2.39 times respectively. They also looked at the levels of nicotinamide riboside, or NR, as they proposed that the NMN was converted to NR before being transported into the cells and then converted back to NMN. In this case, only the heart tissue with an increase of 1.93 showed a significant change when combined with resveratrol, while ginsenoside helped in the liver and kidney. But probably the most important is the NAD levels in the tissues. Here, NMN on its own had a significant impact on the liver and kidney, suggesting that supplementation with NMN will help energy metabolism in those tissues. When combined with resveratrol, the impact on the heart and skeletal muscle was increased by 1.59 and 1.72 times, respectively, while ginsenoside increased NAD levels in the lung by 1.97 times more than with NMN alone. So we saw that combining resveratrol with NMN increased the NAD levels in the heart and skeletal muscle, while when combined with ginsenoside, it increased the NAD in the lung tissue. I would also add that oral NMN was shown to increase NAD in the liver and kidney. Great to see tissue-specific breakdown of NAD levels after taking oral NMN, even if the dose was high, around 3 grams for a 75 kilogram person by my calculations, and super interesting to see the impact of resveratrol and the ginsenosides on the NMN absorption. 